Factsverse presents 23 Rare Dog Breeds You May Have Never Heard About There are plenty of dog breeds in the world. We've all heard of the Golden Retriever, the German Shepherd, the Black Lab, the Chihuahua. There are many other breeds, though, that you may never have even heard of. Here are 23 rare dog breeds that most people have never heard about. Zolowitz Quintili... Uh, Zolo Quintili... Ah, heck, we're just going to call this the Mexican hairless dog. It has such a long name, people just call them Zolo for short. The dog might be hairless, but they make a great companion and watchdog. These dogs have been around for 3,000 years, and they were popular back in the Aztec times. Back then, they were known as the canines to the gods, which is a lot easier to pronounce than however you pronounce their real name. The Chinese Crested is a strange-looking dog. Not only is it hairless, but it also has a spotted body and a shaggy mane. Some say they kind of look like a canine rooster. It's a very playful and affectionate breed. Since the dog is very small and has no hair to shed, maintenance is pretty simple. The Commodore is a very massive and powerful dog. It weighs over 100 pounds and it stands nearly 30 inches high. Despite its large size, though, it's very agile. The breed has long fur, looks more like dreadlocks than fur if you ask me, and it keeps them warm in cold temperatures. That's where these dogs are bred. This dog was bred to blend in with the sheep and chase off the wolves, hunting those sheep. Despite the fact that the breed is bred to be aggressive, they also make great pets. The Borzoi are also known as the Russian Wolfhound because they were once the prized pets of Russian's Romanov family. They are very sleek and elegant dogs. After the revolution, many of these dogs were killed, and the breed almost died out. Fortunately, enough breeders in England and America imported them, so they do still exist today. They have a demeanor similar to a cat, and they are very calm and proud. The New Guinea Singing Dog is a close relative of the Australian Dingo. It's not the dog's appearance that is unusual, though. It is, if you haven't already guessed by its name, its voice. The dog has a singing voice that is similar to a yodel. The dog will use high and low tones, and when other dogs join in, it's a crazy phenomenon called chorus howling. There are some wild dogs living in the New Guinea Islands. Some are domesticated. They're known for being one of the rarest breeds in the world. The Alaskan Klikai looks like a tiny version of the Siberian Husky. This dog has a much calmer temperament than the Husky, though, and they are much more domesticated. They have a lot of energy, and they need plenty of exercise. So if you're thinking about adopting one of these dogs, you're going to need a lot of space. They don't do well in apartments and small homes. Carolina dogs are an ancient breed that's believed to have crossed the Bering Land Bridge into North America alongside early Native Americans. Wild Carolina dogs can be found near the border of South Carolina and Georgia, and there are some domesticated ones as well. Carolina dogs tend to be wild and are cautious and reserved around humans until they realize that they're a part of the pack. When a Carolina dog knows a person well, they are incredibly affectionate. The Brussels Grifton has an adorable pinched face, which is difficult not to love. You may have seen this dog in the movie As Good As It Gets, starring Helen Hunt and Jack Nicholson. These dogs have been seen across Europe for centuries. They almost died out during World War I and World War II, but fortunately they are still around. These dogs are very social and they get lonely easily. If you can't give them constant companionship, this is probably not the dog for you. Bull Terriers have egg heads, tiny eyes, and big muscles. But just because they are funny looking, it doesn't mean they don't make great pets. They are very loyal, energetic, and loving. They also tend to be a bit mischievous and make a great family pet. This particular dog was used as Spud McKenzie for the beer campaign. The Gerberian Shepsky – no, it's not a German Shepherd spelled wrong, that's really the name of this dog – Gerberian Shepsky. It's a cross between a German Shepherd and a Husky. They are known as designer dogs. The breed has a Husky's body, color, and eyes, and a German Shepherd's color pattern. It also has the brains of both. These dogs are very playful and mischievous, and they need a lot of exercise. If you don't have the space and the time to dedicate to this dog, you should choose a different breed. These dogs are not happy unless they're exercising. The Ozawak are North African dogs that are also known as Arabian Greyhounds. They were bred thousands of years ago to hunt small game. They have very long, muscular legs and can run extremely fast. Today, the breed is considered the rarest in the United States. 
The dog looks depressed a lot, but it fits well with their calm and shy demeanor. The dog will be great with the family, but it will shy away from strangers. The dog does need to run a lot, so you'll have to have a lot of space if you want to keep him happy. The Dalmadoodle is exactly what it sounds like. It's a hybrid between a Dalmatian and a Poodle, a Dalmadoodle. It's considered a designer dog, and it has traits from each breed in its descended form. They are very loyal, they'll bark at strangers, and they're also intelligent and loving towards their family. It's best to have this dog trained by a professional. These dogs are very rare and unique, and have just recently been recognized as a breed by the Dog Registry of America and other dog registry organizations. The Bedlington Terrier looks kind of like a stuffed animal. It's very beautiful, distinctive, and very rare. Many people think they resemble a llama, others say they resemble sheep. Either way, they're cute. This breed makes a great family dog. They love to cuddle and they are very loyal. This breed was once used for hunting, fighting, even killing rats, so if you have a rat infestation, this might be the dog for you. Bergamasco Sheepdog This is a big, dreadlocked shepherd dog. It was believed the entire breed was wiped out during World War II, but obviously some managed to survive. This dog's fur is very unique. It's a combination of three completely different textures all interwoven together. With all of this fur, it's an excellent choice if you live in Alaska. If you're living in the South, where the weather is always warm, this dog is not the best option for you. The long, thick, matted hair will make the dog very uncomfortable in hot climates, and you don't want to do that to man's best friend. The history of the Bracco Italiano dog dates back to the 4th century BC. It's also considered the world's first pointer. They were very popular in the Middle Ages, but they died out in popularity in the 1800s. The American Kennel Club didn't recognize this dog as a true breed until 2007, which is kind of strange since it's been around so long. These are excellent hunting dogs, and they're very calm. They make great family dogs, even though they can try to be tough at times. The Catahoula Leopard Dog – well, you might recognize this one when you see it. Their full patterns and eye color vary a bit, but they're still very recognizable. These dogs are native to North America, and they've been there since around the 1500s. An early Spanish explorer described these dogs as barking wolves. They've evolved a little bit, but they are known to be herding dogs. It's a very intelligent breed, and they make excellent family pets. Pooley you don't see these dogs often because they are very rare. This breed has natural dreadlocks that require a great deal of care. If you don't properly brush and wash your pooley, it can easily get matted. They have such a thick coat because they were initially bred for winter survival. Initially, these dogs spent their days herding sheep through the Hungarian plains. The Neapolitan Mastiff are very droopy dogs. Their skin is five sizes too big for their bodies. They date back to ancient Rome, and they are gentle giants. These dogs might be huge, but they love to snuggle. They have a childlike demeanor, and they're very gentle. They make great family pets, and they get along with their human and animal family members. The Kettle Buroon is one of the rarest dogs in the world. It's one of the most unusual looking as well. In Turkish, the dog's name translates to fork nose. The dog's nose is very large, but it doesn't make their sense of smell any stronger than other dogs. This breed's very popular in Turkey, but they're relatively unknown in the rest of the world. The Chinook is a canine version of the workhorse. They were bred in the United States to be haulers because they have the strength of freighting dogs and the speed of sledding dogs. An adult male can grow to be 26 inches tall, and they can weigh up to 90 pounds. These dogs are known for being patient, smart, and devoted. These dogs are great with children, and they're very eager to please. They would fit in perfectly for any family. The Czechoslovakian Vlak This breed was created when the CSSR bred a German Shepherd and a Carpathian Wolf. It was an experiment that worked well, and a decade later, breeding was going to continue. That's because this dog possessed the most favorable and usable qualities from both breeds. In 1982, the breed was officially recognized as a national breed. These dogs are known for being lively, fearless, and very courageous. The English Foxhound dates back to the 1700s. It's a very social, gentle, and affectionate dog. They're very athletic and active, needing plenty of room to run around. They also respond well to training. These dogs are a bit more stout than their American counterparts, and they shed every season. Without regular brushing, you could have a mess on your hands. The Finnish Spitz is known for its strong personality. 
They're known for being faithful, courageous, and they love romping around. It's the national dog of Finland, and it's been around for thousands of years. They have reddish-gold fur, which kind of resembles a fox. They also love to hunt. If a stranger is coming near your home, they will bark to let you know. They're very friendly and loyal dogs. So, dog lovers, are any of these breeds something you'd like to have as a family member? Tell us in the comments and subscribe for more.